and it consumes tablets that are too hard to swallow. Good morning to you, Nathan. I actually have a tablet swallowing issue. <laughs> I we'll have to take it with a dissolvable aspirin and all that. <laughs> <laughs> I have been looking at getting myself a tablet, for real, but there is a new tablet that's out. Yes, yeah, so Samsung have announced uh, by the end of August we should see the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. So this is a little bit different from their Tab 10.1, and it follows on. They had a super large uh, smartphone, uh, the Note, which is a cross between a tablet and a smartphone. So this is the full-size version of that, where it's just a tablet. All right, so they'll have a tablet. Yes. Then they have the phone, and now yes. they have the applications that were on the phone now in a notebook. Basically, they've got all the other smartphones, and then they have this super large smartphone, right. which is a five and a half inch screen. And this is going to be a ten inch, just a tablet. So think the same size as an iPad. So so they've got smaller smartphones. The reason why this big smartphone was popular, it had a stylus, and you could do, you could write on the screen and oh, okay. and, and draw on photos and that sort of thing. Oh. So they've taken those features and put it into their full size tablet. Well, tell me what's going to be on this new. Note tablet. Yeah, so it's going to be a quad core processor. So as we've talked about in the past with some of the phones, it would mean it's super fast mm-hmm. and it'll be able to do things like run two apps simultaneously in a split screen. Awesome. Yeah, so so that sort of thing will be really cool. Five megapixel camera, so it's just upgrading the camera from previous versions and running the latest Android four software as well. Now I have to admit it, I'm not as tech savvy as you are. Can you explain what in short words five megapixel means? Five megapixel is five million pixels as far as the amount of data that's in a photo. So the higher the megapixels, the higher the quality of the photo. So and how much do you think it's going to go out for? Uh, it will be around the similar price as the iPad. So in the States, they're pitching about $550. Mm-hmm. So we should see 3G versions soon and possibly 4G versions by the end of the year. I have another question. Sure. Which one am I better off with? Like the, a tablet or a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1? The Note 10.1 is great because of the, the speed. is the quad-core processor, so it means it's going to handle what you can throw at it as far as software updates in the future. If you're looking for a tablet, if, if money's not issued and you're not looking for the cheapest option, it's generally better to try and find something with the best processor possible because mm. you know it's going to handle what you can throw at it in the future. As always, you come up with another bizarre product. I yes, cannot believe like, this like one. Like my personality. <laughs> 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 Tell me about this flexible battery. Yes, yeah, so Korean scientists have developed a thin foldable battery. So it's it's almost the thickness of a piece of paper, just a little bit thicker. Yep. And they've tested it and shown that it can hold its charge and output when you're flexing it and bending it almost in half. Why would you say we need a flexible battery? Well, When uh, you're broken? Yeah, exactly. It won't snap. Uh, other manufacturers have come up with things like flexible screens. Mm. So no point having a flexible screen if you don't have other components that will move with it, and yes. battery being one of the largest. And why do we need flexible gadgets? Well, potentially one of the things that stop gadgets getting bigger, like uh, phones, is pocket size. So there's no point having something bigger than what fits in your pocket. So no. if things can fold, then we could potentially have uh, bigger tablet screens that you can fold out and are flexible and good for personal or business use. Changing the subject completely. Yes. Flipboard. Flipboard. What is Flipboard? Flipboard is our app of the week, and mm-hmm. it's been around for probably a couple of years now. I just wanted to highlight it. If you a user of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+. This is a great way of browsing all of those networks at once. It brings all those feeds and all that information into the one app. And not only does it do that, it makes it look like a magazine. Let me get this straight. Yes. Then. This app, if I get a message from Twitter and a message from Facebook and a message from... It'll all go to the same app. Yes. So I don't have to open up every single exactly. screen. Exactly. It, it all brings it into this magazine style. And, and, wow. and how that does that is it highlights the pictures within those. So a lot of them have links to websites or mm. pictures. Mm. So it'll give you a snapshot of a website or it'll show that photo with a, a brief blurb and you're flicking through it like you would in a magazine or a newspaper. You press on the one that you want to highlight and it brings it full page and then you can link to the original article. Brings it all together without having to bounce around between five different apps. That's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. Nathan, always a wealth of knowledge. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. It's easy with Gadget Coach.